Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Concepts of IC. So, in the previous lesson, we discussed about how we obtain the logical expression for a given logic circuit. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn about how to draw a circuit, how to draw a logical circuit according to a given expression. So let's start with a simple example. So how do you create the logic circuit for this simple expression? So when we consider this expression, there are two parts, A dot B and C. Those are added together. So that is how we should see a logical expression. First we should uh, divide that expression into simple parts. So that we can create or draw the logical circuit using that expression. So when we see this, we can see that there is an O gate at the end, which is denoted by this plus, and the two inputs to that O gate are A dot B and C. So A dot B we should create. So dot means the AND gate, and there is another. C. So those two will be an input to this O gate. That is what this expression is. First, you have to see the parts of that expression. Let's say we had another part A dot C. So to this O gate, according to this expression, there are three inputs, A dot B, C, and A dot C. So, in that case, we'll have to get another input using these, A and C. Dot means again the AND gate, and that also will be an input. To this O gate. So here the output will be A dot B C and here A C. So A dot C will be the output of this AND gate and they all will be an input to this O gate which will ultimately create A dot B plus C plus A dot C. Let's say if we had the bar somewhere like this and here was bar means that means we have to use a not gate so to create b bar we have to input the b into a not gate so within this bar we have to put a not gate so that we may get a dot b bar here because this will create B bar here and it will be an input to the AND gate and it will ultimately create the A dot B bar and also A dot C bar here it gets a C and we have converted that into C bar for that we will have to use a NOT gate somewhere around here which will give the C bar and it will create A dot C bar here and at last the output will be something like this. So that is the simple method of creating a logic circuit according to a given expression. Now let's see a little bit harder example. Okay, now let's consider this example. A dot B bar plus C, some parentheses around that, dot A bar dot b the whole thing over bar so how do we create that when you see this there's a dot and there are two parts around that dot the dot is used to denote the AND gate and the two parts the two inputs will be a bar dot b and this part within the parenthesis so we have to create a bar dot b and the part within this parenthesis and when we consider this part within the parenthesis, A dot B bar plus C, 
Thus, another two parts within that kind of business and that is uh, two inputs to an OR gate. A, B bar, plus C. This is the part within this parenthesis and we have to create A bar dot B. A bar dot B. That is again using the AND gate and those two will go through another dot which is uh, another AND gate but when we consider this dot and this over bar what does that mean? Uh, let's first create the output of this now this uh, A, B and C here it will be B bar and this is A and A bar and B so the output of this will be A B bar A B bar plus C A bar B so the output here will be A dot B bar plus C into A bar plus B. So what do we have here? We have a whole bar of this expression. So that can be obtained just by putting a NOT gate after this. Or you can simply use the NAND gate at this place of the AND gate. So if we put NAND here, we will simply obtain this. So that is how we create the logical circuits according to a given logical expression. So that's what we are going to learn in this lesson. So I hope you learned everything about this and now we know how to create logical expressions, how to obtain logical expressions according to a given logical circuit and we know how to draw a circuit according to a given expression and we know how to draw truth tables. And in the next lesson, we are going to learn about the rules, the Boolean algebraic rules that we are going to use in our simplifications of Boolean logical expressions. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you want to know more about the concepts of ICT. Thank you.